Hey YouTube, it's Crafty Coder here. Uh, I posted a video yesterday about uh, measuring AC with the uh, trans impedance ammeter uh, on the breadboard, and I mentioned that I had a uh, custom PCB coming. And yesterday afternoon, it arrived, and here it is. I called the lightning bug. Um, I don't know why. I just uh, thought maybe I might put this on Kickstarter one of these days. And, uh, can't sell anything on Kickstarter if it doesn't have a stupid name, so. It's got a stupid name, the lightning bug. And, uh, well, here it is, and let's build one up. I'll do a little quick time-lapse uh, construction video. I'll try to speed it up, so uh, if it's boring, you can just fast-forward, but it shouldn't take more than, a, I don't know, a minute or two to uh, do the full construction. And we'll be back. Well, here it is, all built up. Uh, the bottom left-hand corner is the on switch. It's got a little uh, uh, IC over there with an LED. What the um, IC does is it measures whether or not uh, the voltage coming out of the battery is appropriate uh, to power the op amp, and if it isn't, then the LED doesn't turn on. And uh, in the uh, middle between the two B and C connectors is another IC and two resistors. That resistor is just a voltage divider. It's two 10K resistors. And then there's a dual op amp next to that. And a couple of unpopulated uh, capacitors, which I said I didn't need. And then over on the right are uh, the three uh, feedback resistors. There's a 1 ohm, a uh, 1000 ohm, and a 1 million ohm and uh, they're all 0.1% accurate, so they're pretty good. And then two switches. So let's uh, set up a couple of diagnostics. All right, so we uh, just built up two lightning bugs because, hey, why not? And uh, I got a third board left over. We'll keep it for another day. Um, I think now what we'll do is we'll set up a couple practical uh, measurements. Uh, well, we'll call one practical and one scientific. And uh, the practical one is a circuit that I want to measure its uh, quiescent currents both uh, on and off. And then the scientific one is we'll just put a real precision current through it and we'll see how accurate it is and how it uh, tracks through a couple of different uh, loads. So let's check it out. 
All right, so uh, here's the scientific measurement. We've got a uh, power supply uh, running current or running voltage uh, out of this wire into a uh, 100 ohm or 1,000 ohm 0.1% uh, resistor, so it should be super accurate. And uh, we also have a uh, voltage measurement on that as well. So the device is outputting, or the power supply is outputting 1.1 millivolts, and the lightning bug is reading uh, 1.1 or 1.2 microamps. Now let's turn that up a bit. We are now outputting 200.2 uh, millivolts, and we are reading 200.26. Uh, microamps and uh, the voltage is dropping and so are the amps just a little bit so we're high by about a half a percent let's turn it up a little farther 441.8 441.8 well that's just uh, perfect so we've gone outside of the microamp range We're now reading, uh, we're outputting uh, 1.085 volts, and we are reading uh, 1.08 or 1085 microamps because we're outputting one whole volt. And the uh, battery on here is a 5 volt or 6 volt battery, so we can go plus or minus, uh, or we can go up to 3 volts high. Um, but if you're going to go that high, you might as well go to uh, a different range. So let's um, let's turn this range up and see how it responds to a 1.56 uh, in milliamp range. Because we're in microamp range now. All right, so now we've moved it down to uh, the milliamp range, and as you can see at the bottom range, it's not super accurate. So we're now down to, we're outputting 1.65 millivolts out of the lightning bug, which corresponds to 1.65 milliamps. But, as we expect, we would expect 1,559, and uh, that's what we get in the microamp range. So, there's a little bit of noise down at the very bottom, but as you can see, 1.559, 1.55902, I mean, you don't get any more accurate than that. That's absolutely perfect. So kudos to this device working as advertised. And uh, I guess that's uh, good enough for government work. I guess we could pull out a uh, nanoamp resistor if we wanted to and measure it. But uh, why don't we just instead switch over to a, uh, a more practical test and see how that goes. Alright, so let's do a practical uh, example test. Here we have a lightning bug plugged into a uh, circuit here. What this circuit is, is uh, well, it's a, the reason why I designed the lightning bug in the first place. I wanted to measure this, is, this device is creating current in an off state as well as in an on state, and it draws very little, so we needed to have a precise instrument with which to test. Um, it's, the power comes out of this power supply goes into the lightning bug, uh, we measure its current capacity, then we output that through this wire into the device under test, and then it goes to ground, back into this. So that's the setup. We are currently in nanoamp range, and you can see we're drawing somewhere between, uh, looks like 10 and uh, 35 nanoamps in the off state. We turn it on by applying 5 volts, and uh, We've clearly um, maxed out the nanoamp range, so let's uh, send it up into microamp range. Nothing, still maxed out. And in the uh, milliamp range, we are pulling uh, 10.4 milliamps, which is a fine number. Um, it's not doing anything right now. This is a uh, power, or this is the solid state relay I designed, so uh, it's currently not sinking any current, so 
this is just how much current the IC draws uh, while it's not doing anything, which is a small number, and of course this is the number when the motorcycle is turned on. We already saw the number when the motorcycle is turned off, and it's, you know, 15 nanoamps, which means it will not injure the battery at all. So let's talk about um, the burden voltage of this instrument. Uh, we can see this uh, multimeter here, and uh, to measure the burden voltage, what we'd like to know is what the uh, voltage we're feeding this device is. So let's uh, stick that on the ground and then touch the input voltage. Let's see if I can find it. 5.16 volts. That's the voltage we're going in. Now let's measure the voltage coming out. 5.16. So uh, we don't have any burden voltage to speak of. Um, so yeah, in a sense, the uh, the instrument uh, works just as we'd like. Uh, no burden voltage, highly accurate current measurements in the uh, low current range. So um, yeah, life's good. Well, guys, um, we sort of went through this whole process. We talked about it on the breadboard. We talked about it uh, measuring AC current. Uh, yesterday, we actually got the uh, custom PCB in yesterday afternoon, sort of uh, fortuitous timing, so that I could build it up on the weekend because I'm a very busy fella. And uh, well, what can I say? The thing does just what I wanted it to do. When I uh, want to measure a very precise known current, it gives me the right answer, which gives me confidence. Uh, when I measure a uh, practical circuit, uh, it gives me an answer that seems believable and backed up by the precision currents that I've already measured to calibrate it. I feel confident in its output. So um, it's got BNC connectors. Those are kind of interesting. Uh, I like them. I'm going to leave them on for the time being and see how I like it. Uh, they're small and easy to attach and you can get 90 degrees quite readily, um, which you cannot do with banana jacks. Uh, I like the form factor just in terms of size. You can imagine it in a little box. And um, yeah, I think it's great. Um, I'm happy to have one in my kit. And uh, when I iron out any wrinkles after I've done some more testing with it, uh, if y'all are interested, maybe I'll uh, stick it in a uh, Kickstarter. And if we can build 100 of them, I'll ship one to anybody who wants one. So all right, guys, take care.